Hello, today I'm going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Biostar B760M Silver, which is a micro ATX motherboard compatible with Intel's 12th, 13th and 14th generation CPUs. It is currently available and is on sale for around about £270, so let's go ahead and get it unboxed and take a closer look at it. So this is everything that comes in the box with the motherboard. So we've got our quick installation guide, a disc with all our manuals, drivers and utilities on it. Although if you don't have anywhere to put this, you can of course download them from the website. We've got our motherboard's I.O. shield and we've got four SATA data cables. Taking a closer look at our motherboard and working along the bottom from left to right. First of all, we've got a HD audio connector followed by three system fan headers. We've then got two USB 2.0 headers and a Thunderbolt add-in card header. Next to that we've got our debug indicator LEDs which you'll find useful if you need to troubleshoot the motherboard. We've then got an RS-323 COM port header followed by our system panel header where we're going to plug in our front panel connectors. Next to that we've got a speaker header and just above that we've got our clear CMOS jumper and then at the bottom right hand side of the motherboard we've got a trusted platform module header. Working up the right hand side of the motherboard we've got another system fan header giving us a total of four of these on the motherboard. Next to that we've got four SATA ports followed by a JSPI header. We've then got a USB 3.2 Gen 2 front panel type C header followed by a forward facing USB 3.2 Gen 1 header. We've then got another two SATA ports giving us a total of six of these on the motherboard. And next to that we've got our 24 pin power connector. Working along the top of the motherboard we've got three RGB headers, two of them are three pin five volt headers and we've got one four pin 12 volt header. We've then got our CPU fan and CPU opt headers and then at the top left of the motherboard we've got a single eight pin EPS power connector to provide additional power to your CPU. The motherboard features a 10 plus one plus one power phase design and we've got large aluminium heat sinks over the VRM. In the middle of the motherboard we've got our LGI 1700 socket and standard mounting holes and the motherboard is compatible with Intel's 12th, 13th and 14th generation CPUs. We've got four RAM slots and the motherboard is compatible with up to a maximum of 192GB of DDR5 at up to 6000 plus mega transfers per second overclocked. The motherboard has two by 16 size PCIe slots and it's good to see the top one is reinforced. This is a Gen 5 slot and will run in by 16 mode with the PCIe lanes coming from the CPU. The bottom by 16 size PCIe slot is a Gen 4 slot. It will run in by 4 mode with the PCIe lanes coming from the chipset. And we've also got a Gen 3 by 1 slot with the PCIe lanes coming from the chipset. The motherboard has two M.2 SSD slots and we've got a heatsink over the top slot. Both of these slots are PCIe Gen 4 by 4 slots with the PCIe lanes for the top slot coming from the CPU while the PCIe lanes from the bottom slot come from the chipset. The bottom slot also supports SATA drives, although if you do install a SATA drive in this slot, SATA port 4 will be disabled. And there's no need to go searching the box for M.2 screws, Biostar have pre-installed these in the standoffs. Beneath these we've got an M.2 key E slot where you can add in a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module. And if you do want to go with this, you'd be pleased to see that Biostar have pre-routed the cables to the antenna ports on the rear I.O. And we've got an aluminium heatsink with the Biostar logo over our B760 chipset. You'll see our motherboard doesn't come with an integrated I.O. shield. I'll set the I.O. shield in place and give you a look at the rear I.O. Working down from the top, first of all we've got a BIOS flashback button and then we've got a DisplayPort 1.2 and HDMI 2.1 ports. We've then got two antenna ports if you want to add in a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi module. We've then got five USB 3.2 Jet 2 Type-A ports and the one labelled Smart BIOS is the one you're going to plug your USB stick into if you want to flash your motherboard's BIOS. We've then got a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, followed by two USB 2.0 Type-A ports. Next to that we've got a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, and at the bottom we've got our audio ports, and the motherboard does support 7.1 channel HD audio. So I do think this is a good looking motherboard with pretty much most of the features you're going to want for the average build. The only thing missing for me would be the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but Biostar have made it really easy for you to add this in if you need it. If you are interested in getting this motherboard, you'll find links to it in the description. 
and you won't have to wait very long before you see it on a build on the channel. We've got a build all lined up and it should be coming out in the next week or so. So if you have found this video useful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.